Simon wakes up at around seven and I pretend to be asleep so that he has to take out Foxy and I don't have to. Uh, then eventually- Oh, you're pretending, are you? Totes pretending. Then eventually I roll out of bed. The first thing I do is I greet Foxy with very much love and then I insist that Simon make me a cup of tea. I read about 500 newspapers and magazines and then I get to work. My home office is a corner of our bedroom. I have a gorgeous John Paul Philippe painting behind me. <laughs> Many Palm Springs pots on the table. And most importantly, I am lucky to have the most gorgeous view of the sea imaginable. You are blessed. We're blessed. We are very, very lucky quarantinistas. My favorite object in the house is this groovy etching of George Washington that Simon and I found in an antique store. And it's really cool, but it was looking a bit drab. So one day I went to the gym and when I got back, Simon had... I got out my oil paints and I embellished it, an homage to GW. Yeah, you have the eye patch, the yellow hair, lips, of course, and most importantly, the print symbol. It just shows that Everything, even our beloved founding father, looked groovier with a little pop of prints. Woo! Hiking, paddle boarding, skipping, and I'm going insane. <laughs> <laughs> you look good though. Woo! When I'm not working, I am usually hanging out and reading. I'm a voracious reader, and right now I'm rereading The Philosophy of Andy Warhol, which I first read in high school. My mind was like blown. Warhol is my forever muse, and anyone who hasn't read it should read it. The Philosophy of Andy Warhol.